<laughs> Oklahoma <laughs> may soon have an official Bigfoot hunting season and a $25,000 prize for catching it. Catching Bigfoot, Martha May. Martha May. Love a good conspiracy the- theory, the article says. Oklahoma is looking for you. In January, Oklahoma Rep. Justin Humphrey introduced a new bill to the state legislator, legislature in an attempt to open up licenses for Bigfoot hunting season. Yes, for real, the article says. A, a lot of people don't believe in Bigfoot, but a lot of people do, Humphrey said. Um, he says that tourism is one of the biggest attractions we have in my house di- district. Establishing an actual hunting season and issuing licenses for people who want to hunt Bigfoot will just just draw more people to our already beautiful part of the state. It's good you added that in. What kind of people are they going to be drawing into the beautiful part of the state? <laughs> right. Hey, they're uh, being creative with revenue. They, That's all thank I got to say. They're being creative, yeah. capturing some revenue. But first, uh, let's. How do you define Bigfoot? Right. What's the definition? Wow. Do you want to go down this road? <laughs> well, seriously, for some people, like I was talking to years ago, I was talking to a guy that was bear hunting and he starts talking about Bigfoot. And I'm like, what? And this is this stupid big bear that hardly ever walks on four legs. And what they called it up there was Bigfoot. Obviously, as a tongue in cheek to the real Bigfoot, but he starts talking about this like it's uh, like normal, and I was super confused. And he's like, <laughs> "Well, I'm just pulling your leg. This is actually just a bear that hardly walks around on all fours. It's a huge bear up there. Like, did you catch big? Did you shoot Bigfoot this year? So, like, define it. They nicknamed it. Right. There you go. Good question. I, I mean, I don't know how to define it. I don't know. How, how are they going to say that you get $25,000 and somebody brings in this big, huge, massive bear and says, I got Bigfoot? Right. I know they do a lot of testing. I've watched, you know, I'm not necessarily, I'm not one of those that's like I believe, but I always leave the, um, leave it open for possibility. So I've watched a lot of stuff on it and they do do some testing and they try to see if the animal hair or this or that is something else. But I would imagine that my understanding is even if somebody were to catch the Bigfoot and it was to be tested, it's it's going to be probably inconclusive or this or that. I don't mm. know. This is the way I look at it. I look at it as Martha made it brilliant. Brilliant that somebody was thinking outside of the box. It's Oklahoma. With all due respect to Oklahoma, I don't know many reasons to go to Oklahoma. So somebody was thinking and they're like... And here's the thing, with respect to other individuals out there, some do believe. Some, some definitely and it said, believe. And he said in there, in here too, uh, Humphrey did, he said, like, I don't believe, but he said, I know people that are completely sane people that do believe. <laughs> yeah. Right? But <laughs> Completely sane. Completely sane people. That's, I think it's a win-win but, situation. And then there were some comments. I don't think it was on this one, but some comments that I had read about this uh, different article that was similar to this is uh, people are saying, well, you you want a bunch of crazy people who believe in Bigfoot with guns running around your state and things like that. And so then I started thinking thinking about it, and I don't know if anybody knows this because I I didn't look it up, but people who actually buy license to hunt and have like legal guns, the harm that comes of that is almost nothing every year. I mean, the biggest problem, the biggest harm is is accidents right mm. you know trip and fall or the you know things like that so how can this be a bad thing in any way is my point it's a good point and also it's noted that it's um the twenty five thousand dollars for trapping it's not for killing yeah it's for catching so good point. and um you know i guess you get some bragging rights with that the way i look at it is hey you're getting some revenue for your state and if somebody were to really catch bigfoot well hello oklahoma you are known for bigfoot for the rest of you know i yeah. I, I really i just love the creativity of it and what kind of individuals it brings to your state, that remains to be seen. And it still needs to pass yet, it, from yeah. my understanding. Yeah, he, he, it has, and I just read that too. It hasn't passed. It's about a 50 50 shot right now of passing. So I don't think there's a, uh, this is what would be called a win 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 mm-hmm. to well, me. Do it. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, so you get I think a bunch of people, Second Amendment people, you know, mm-hmm. down in your state. I'm you're with safe. you as well. It's yeah, brilliant. You're safe. I mean, yeah. it's a good, we're, I, we're talking about it. 
yeah, yeah we're talking yeah, about sure. it and from my understanding more people have just they just want to actually have the permit to frame it and put it on their wall yeah so more than actually yeah. doing the whole hunting of it so yeah i thought that was kind of and cool. maybe bernie will be hanging out in the woods on his <laughs> chair with his mittens i'm photoshopping it this right. afternoon <laughs> next to bigfoot yeah. oh, oh that's going viral i totally agree with harmony it's like when everybody could get ordained as a minister online you know what i mean the kids mm-hmm. were doing it everybody's doing it just to have the little certificate to have it online they're not going to marry anybody they're not going to do anything with it kind of like this I, I got a Bigfoot hunting permit, you know, or You're going like. to apply for one? No, You're going to do it? I mean, I'm oh. a huge hunter, but I don't oh, By the way, I thought about forte. doing it just do for it. fun. I'm like, I almost want, I wanted to actually call them, inquire how much the permit is, you know, because it made it, the article made it sound like people have already called and applied for yeah. them and have them. So I'm like, I'm, I'm super curious. I want to know how much it would cost, you know, and with that, how much, you know, what their expectations of if it were to pass per year, how many they would sell. I mean, it's just interesting information. Well, I have good what friends a- down in Oklahoma, so I'm going to put a call into them and ask them. And that's a how great much question. The permit is and by the way, why Bigfoot? Oklahoma? Is there so many sightings I, in Oklahoma? See, that's thought, my question. I thought the hotbed was like Pacific Northwest. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Washington, Oregon. Or I the thought. Mediterranean. I've seen some pretty hairy uh, people from the Mediterranean. But what a gift. What a great <laughs> gift, too. For somebody who has everything, oh, I'm going to get you a big hook. Big oh, foot. how creative. Yeah. I love yeah, it. After elephant, what do you good marketing? Giraffe, they need Bigfoot. <laughs> well, you oftentimes right? will get a gift and somebody be like, I, I, I you know, I, I, um, I named a star after you. Or I, you know, donated to this charity in your name. Let's do Bigfoot. That's great. You're going <laughs> to yeah, remember Bigfoot. that birthday gift. <laughs> it is. It's good. It's good stuff. I don't think you can go wrong with it. I really don't. Hey, a lot of people have asked how they can support the work we're doing here at Matt Logan Speaks. Well, you see this hammer that I got in my hand? It's pretty big. All you have to do is hammer the share button. Go ahead and hammer out a comment to us. Go ahead and hammer the like button. Go ahead and hammer the subscription button. Go ahead and hammer the notification bell so that when we have new content up, you're the first to know about it. We really appreciate the comments, shares, likes, because you know what? That's the best way you can support us because the algorithms on all these fancy computers, that's what they need. We appreciate it.